Oh, hey there. It's March 3rd all day, and these historical events occurred on March 3rd, this date in history. In 1776, the first U.S. Marines land on a hostile shore with approximately 210 Marines on a raid of Nassau in the Bahamas, along with a large number of guns, mortars, and gunpowder. Semper Fidelis, Marines. Hoorah! In 1791, the Congress establishes the U.S. Mint, but also marks the first Internal Revenue Act, taxing distilled spirits as well as carriages. Nice job. In 1820, the Missouri Compromise passes, allowing Missouri to join the United States, despite still having slavery being legal there. In 1837, Congress increases the U.S. Supreme Court membership from seven to nine. In 1849, Florida becomes the 27th state of the Union. In 1873, the U.S. Congress enacts the Comstock Law, making it illegal to send any obscene, lewd, or lascivious books through the mail. Man, that law is crazy as... How is that? In 1877, Rutherford B. Hayes takes the oath of office privately as an inauguration day falls on a Sunday. Don't forget it's Women's History Month, and in 1879, the first female lawyer heard by the Supreme Court is Belva Ann Bennett Lockwood. In 1891, the U.S. Congress creates the Courts of Appeal. In 1915, the U.S. National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, or NACA, is created, which is the precursor to NASA. In 1923, Time Magazine publishes the first issue featuring Joseph C. Cannon, the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, on its cover. Maybe you didn't know this, but the Star Spangled Banner on this date in 1931 officially becomes the U.S. National Anthem by congressional approval. About the anthem, its lyrics are by Francis Scott Key in 1814 set to John Stafford Smith's 18th century tune, the Anacreontic Song. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. Bottom line, the Star Spangled Banner became our national anthem on this day in 1931. And in 1991, Los Angeles police officers severely beat motorist Rodney King. The beating is famously captured on amateur video and later leads to riots when the police officers are acquitted in a legal proceeding called court. When it comes to a battle of wits, you'll have the victory when you subscribe to my channel for this date in history. Like, share, subscribe, plus check out the comments below for even more March 3rd history. I can't talk today. That's it. Out of here.